Hey everybody, welcome back to Bob and Kelly's Mixology Monday. Today we are gonna make a super simple but awesome drink for you guys. This is an old school aperitif. Yes. Yeah, so we, yeah, if you guys might have known, we just got back from a Disney cruise on The Wish. On The Wish. I was introduced to this cocktail on the cruise, fell in love with it, had about eight million of them. Yeah, she did, she had a lot. I think I had four. Well, she went in, you know, we went into the bar. Yeah, we went to the- uh, Cask and Caskin Compass. Compass, was it Cask and Compass? Yes. Cork and Compass? Cor no, it was Cask and Compass. I don't know, I'll put the name down here. It was a Cask. Uh, one of the bars and we, I didn't really see anything on the menu that I liked, so one of the bartender guys suggested- Julian. Julian. Hi, Thanks, Julian. Julian. Uh, suggested this for me, and I fell in love with it. Yeah. So every time we went back, I had one. She and he's did. like, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So he did. So we thought we would make this for you. Right. Super easy, what is it called? It is called an Aperol Spritz. Aperol Spritz, so Aperol. What is it? It is a bitter aperitif. The, uh, wood. With orange and grapefruit flavors. Yeah, and it's, it's yeah, like I said, it's kind of a bittery um, mm -hmm. aperitif. Um, it is from Italy. They, it, the Italians invented the Aperol Spritz to kind of combat the heat of the summer. The humidity and the heat of, of Italian summers. Yeah. It's very refreshing. It is very refreshing. So, you know, maybe more of a summer drink than a winter drink, but hey, I can drink this it's, bad You know, all it's round. always 70 inside. <laughs> True. So it is. So you can pretend it's warm yeah. while you drink this. So really, really easy. Um, let's get to it. Alrighty. Right. We so, need aperol. Yeah. Very simple recipe. It's two, three, one. Okay. Two, three, one. So we're gonna use aperol, two ounces of aperol. And you make this in the glass. So you, uh, typically it's served in like the most ginormous wine glass that you can possibly find. Yeah. So this is ours and lots of ice. So, some people put the ice in after they put in the alcohol, some people, you know. It's all personal preference. Yeah. This is the way we're gonna do it today. Hey, this is a screw off top. Ooh. And then we need some- Whoa, Whoa. Oh, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna use three ounces, should I eyeball it? Or just do it? Just, let's, I don't let's know. Measure it. Three ounces of dry Prosecco. Ooh, Whoa. it's fizzy. Well, yeah. We may add some more, just depending on how it looks. Because our glass, ooh, that's so pretty. It's, it's such a big glass. It is such a big glass. And we, then we're gonna top it with some soda water. Soda water, regular old club soda. Yes. Just an ounce of that. You can, a lot of people just do a splash of club soda, so it doesn't really matter. Well, you know, when you, you got know. five ounces of the stuff in there and ice, it is just a splash. Yeah, it is just a splash. We're just gonna it's stir it a little to mix glass. it and kind of get it cold. This is a it's huge so glass. Pretty. It is a very huge glass. But look how pretty that is. It's very pretty. And then typically, traditionally, you want to put an orange slice in there just for your garnish. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. I love it. Yeah, it looks fancy. Yeah, it does look fancy. I like the way it's I know, fancy. It's fancy. And it, when it gets really nice and icy cold, it is very refreshing. It is. So we're going to take a picture as usual and then we'll be right back. Okay, ready? And All as right. usual, we just made one today because we're going to make a reel for our Instagram page. If you don't, for real. If for real. Yeah, we're gonna make a reel for real. Uh, if you don't follow us on Instagram for the cocktails, it is Bob and Kelly Cocktails. Put it right there. Give it a go. You can put it right there? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't drink as many of these. I only tasted it once. Did so you? Okay. I'm gonna see what it's like. See so. how it compares. It smells very orangey. And I think you can kind of adjust your recipe to your taste. You know, if you wanna include more Aperol in there, I think the way Julian made it the first night was a little bit more A little orangey. heavier Aperol. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good, but I can. it is bitter. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It is definitely not a sweet cocktail. If no. Because it does look sweet, Yeah. but definitely is not sweet. You tell me if it compares to what you made on what you had on the cruise. Yep, perfect. Okay. You can taste that little backside bitter. Yeah. It's almost I, I like, like that, bitter, that orange kind of bitter. Like if you bit into an orange peel? Yeah, exactly. If you like that kind of bitterness. Um, it's got like a touch of sweet just to kind of complement the bitter. You could add not. a little more Prosecco if you, you want to because that's where the sweet comes from is mm -hmm. the Prosecco. The ice is getting in the way of my drinking. Oh crap. Don't you hate it when that happens? I do. Ice hindrance. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. It's a great summer drink. Great anytime drink, really. Like I said, it's 70 inside. And it's pretty. Yes. Okay. 
All right. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will post the recipe at the end of this video and down below. Let us know if you give this one a try or if you had one of these, if you like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you haven't done so already, please do us a huge favor and hit the subscribe button, ding the notification bell so that you know when we post, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and we will see you guys next Monday. Next Monday. All right, cheers. Have a great week. Cheers. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye.